Today's episode of Pods Get Dirt comes to you from the dead of winter where we're in trout country to show you five tips to catch more big trout this winter. Now, these techniques will also work any other time of year, but it's winter right now. We came out here today with several different things. We used number one, the new fireworm. Now by fireworm, I mean not the ones you buy in a package. We're talking about the ones that you roll. So one of the most effective baits we've used today is Potsky's garlic salmon egg fire bait, and we've rolled it up like a worm. You know, a lot of people know, um, you know, like the pink worms and that work really well for trout, and this this works even better. So what we do is we just take a good pinch of fire bait here, about like that, just a good pinch, and we're just gonna roll it up in our hands like we're playing with Play-Doh or something. We're just gonna put it in our hands, and we're just gonna roll it up just like this. And I like to hook this thing on the hook, kind of wacky style, so it right in the middle. That way, the it's got legs and it kind of moves in the current. Now you can roll this and you know form it. You could pre-do these the night before you go fishing. Um, that way they're ready to go, or you can do it right on the riverbank, and that's perfect. Now when I hook these, I like to hook it right in the middle, right where my fingers are, so these legs just kind of move in the water and the trout just can't resist it. So I'm gonna show you how to hook this here. Like I said, I kinda like to hook it wacky style. That way the legs move in the water. So I'm just gonna hook it, thread it right through the hook. I'm just gonna mold the fire bait around there. Now when I put this in the water, I'm gonna let that sit in the water for about 20 seconds and that fire bait's just gonna mold right around the hook. That way it'll stay on the hook well and it won't come off easy. And you'll be able to fish with that for a while. Woo! Yeah. Love that action right there. Oh yeah, beautiful rookie, Mike. Holy, that's beautiful. That thing is freaking huge. Look at this beautiful rookie. Just one cast out, bobber down, and look, beautiful, beautiful fish. Trust me, in the white water. Take your time, Pat. It's a big fish. Big fish. That might be about ten pounder, Chris. There might be a ten pounder right here. Oh, it's a tank. Jesus, Pat. Did we do it? Did we, Ooh. we do it? Back out. Sorry. Okay. Ooh, oh, Jesus. My oh, 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 my gosh. Uh, yeah. That baby. Look at Holy it. gosh. Hey, he's alligator rolling now. And guess what? That, folks, oh my God. is fire bait. Any questions? Garlic salmon egg does the trick again right here. The next thing he did was one thing I didn't want anybody to do. They used our famous new premium trout eggs for trout. We know they work for trout everywhere, but unfortunately, most of the places where trout are stocked, the retailers don't carry these trout eggs. But be honest, he tried it, it worked, it worked again, it worked again. It actually worked so good they had to tell the guys, stop using it. So if you want to use these trout eggs, you're going to have to go online and buy them, most likely, unless you live in the Northeast or the Great Lakes. So something I do for a lot of steelhead fishing back in Michigan is tie spawn sacks. And we've been tying spawn sacks with Potsky's premium eggs, and it's been working very well for us, especially for these big trout. This might be one of the most effective ways to catch big rainbow trout. And not only catch trout, but they, they also stay on the hook very well. And you can catch several trout on them, and the little ones like them as well, as well, and they just work great all around. So I'm going to show you how to tie these here. We have Atlas Mike's 3x3 three three spawn netting, and we're just going to put a few trout eggs in there. We're not going to, we're just going to tie these about dime size, the size of a dime. So we got them right in the middle. We're going to fold these corners and we're going to twist. We're just going to gently twist around. Then we're going to take our Atlas Mike's Miracle Thread. I like the Miracle Thread best because it's thin. You know, you can get like the Magic Thread, which is a thicker material, but this Miracle Thread's thin and it just wraps really nice and it makes it really easy. So I'm gonna just take this Miracle Thread and I'm gonna wrap one, two, three, four, five, kind of snug it, one, two, three, four, five, then you just break it off. That thread's gonna cinch right around there. You're gonna take your scissors just above your knot, trim it off, and that bag there's ready to fish. Now you can go smaller, you can only tie you know, five, six eggs, you can make these small, you can even go bigger if the water's dirty too. 
So, but that's a that's a perfect size bag right there. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to hook these on here. I mean, it, it, this is just a little thing, but if you don't do it, you know, this can this will save you a lot of time and effort. Um, so you have the knot here. This is where you cut the spawn bag. We're gonna hook this on the opposite side of the knot, so the back side. And we we put our hook in. We're using a size six salmon egg hook. And we're just gonna put it just barely inside the netting. You just wanna put it barely inside the netting, that way that fish is gonna get hooked well. When I first started using spawn sacks years ago, I remember I, I didn't have anybody to teach me, so I would just put the hook, bury it right in the spawn bag, and I'd have fish after fish, just head shake, head shake, come off, and I couldn't figure it out, but then I started hooking my bags like this, and this saved, I started laying in way more fish. So, yep, just barely in there. You just want that hook exposed, so it'll really hook that fish. Opposite side of the knot, and that's a perfect hook spawn bag there. <laughs> Whoa, easy, come on George. Take your time, just. George, come on over here, buddy. It looks like that's Chartreuse Atlas Mike spawn netting. That's Chartreuse spawn netting in the net. And George, folks, has caught what we call Godzilla. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Trout eggs are still in his mouth. That right there, folks, is a monster. This is probably the best rainbow trout I've ever caught in my life. Just, this thing has some crazy colors. He, I, I gotta tell you, he put up one hell of a fight. Two fish, two casts for Mr. New York here. He's a little nice serious. Baby. A little serious on film. I like this one. I'm gonna see how this how how much I like this one, but uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. Well, you might have to chase him. He's running, George. George, George we're running. running. <laughs> He's running. Oh my gosh. Pull and drag. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Oh my. Boom, boom, yeah. <laughs> nice. We got George from Long Island down here. What are we doing, George? Bag and bones, baby! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> you know, when it comes to spawn sacks, they work really well, but they're popular with salmon and steelhead fishermen in the Great Lakes. And they're not extremely popular in other areas. That's not to say other people don't use them in other areas, but you're not gonna find those products available in that area. Now, if you're gonna go online and you wanna buy these things, look up trout eggs, you'll find them everywhere. And look up Atlas Mike spawn netting. It's the most popular netting in North America. And people will use Miracle or Magic Thread. And you'll see that in this video as well. Now, the other thing the guys did is something that we kinda of learned from our good old friend Samuel at GP Outdoors. It's pretty amazing. Using a worm, just a regular night crawler we're talking here, and tipping it with pink shrimp and chartreuse garlic fireballs. You know, this isn't something we had personally done in the past, but Samuel kept messaging us picture after picture after picture, and he said, guys, we all know trout eat worms. However, when you add a little bit of scent to it, like I'm doing now with these fireballs, they work even better. So another thing we did today is we put fireballs on a hook with a, a night crawler, and a lot, as a lot of you know, like with these stock trout, just like the more kind of vibrant colors and smells you can have on your bait, the better a lot of times. So what we did is we just threaded one, one uh, fireball on the line, and we slid it right up through our hook, and we put it on the top of our line, just like that. Now we took our worm, hook it right in the middle, It's a lively one here. Okay, then we took one more fireball. And this actually helps keep your bait on the hook too. Uh, so what we've kind of found out is that it helps keep your worm on the hook too. But yeah, <laughs> that, that actually works really well for these trout. Well, we got another rainbow. We were looking for a brown, but getting spoiled here, I guess. <laughs> you know, we, we switched to the Nightcrawler fireball combo thinking we're gonna catch a brown now. And uh, the rainbows just, hate to say it, but they won't leave us alone. It is a big rainbow. Yeah, it is a, don't get me wrong, we're not complaining, but let me tell you, we want a brown pretty bad here. Here we go, brother. Just another giant rainbow. It's just insane, the size of these rainbows that they stock here. It's just a blast. And then Kyle pulled out 
the secret weapon. Now, Natural Deluxe is nothing new to us. We've had it for about five years. However, they only seem to sell really well in the Northeast. The reason why, they're a natural colored bait. Pennsylvania, you know, on North, they sell extremely well. The rest of the country, you may not even be able to find them in a local sporting goods store. Now, these Natural Deluxe, the reason why they work, as we said, they're natural eggs. Browns love these, Brook love these, Rainbows love these. We've actually caught a lot of Goldens in our day on these as well. Now, it's very simple. Single salmon egg hook, size 10 to size 16 with one of these. Kyle might use a little bit larger one simply because there's some real big fish in this system today. Now, the last thing we did was use something that's become very popular over the last 10 years. We used an imitation minnow. When we used a regular imitation minnow, we didn't get that many bites to be honest with you. However, as soon as we put a nice fire gel on it, it was instant action. So we just take our hook, whether it's a regular single hook or a jig head, and just hook it right through the nose. And we'll just come in probably, I don't know, quarter of an inch. We'll loop it back around. That way that hook's on the front just like that. And when this is going through the water, this tail's gonna be vibrating. You can even twitch it too. But the trout really like this stuff. Especially the brookies and the browns and, and, and the rainbows. So we're taking the fire gel. This is Potsky and Nice fire gel. We've been using the Nice shad and trout scents. And we're just rubbing the side of this minnow. So we're just taking this gel and we're just coating it right on the side of this minnow. And that's going to stay on there for a long time until that get, bait gets bit. It's like getting a sign out in a horse ride. Good job, baby. Double, double. Woo! Oh <laughs> Fire gel minnows times two. Oh, Ooh, that's, a that's a brookie! That's a brookie! Get, get the other net! Get the other net, George! Don't worry about mine. Get hit. Two men in the net. Oh, boy. That brookie wants some. There's one. They work. Got it. Good job, George. Nice job, George. Just the monster brookie on a jig tipped with a fake metal and Potsky and Nice fire gel. Another bobber down action right here. Look at this one. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I was going to reel it and he hit it on the reel right at the end of my rack. It's another brookie. The brookie bite is on. Oh, she's gonna get it. Ooh! Nice. Now this one has even more color than the last couple did. Another nice brookie on a fake minnow on a jig head with Potsky and Nice fire gel. I was reeling it in and he hammered it. He engulfed it right down his mouth. So that was pretty cool to see that. That Anise fire gel is pretty strong, just like the garlic fire gel we also use. Between those two, it was fish after fish after fish. Now these guys had a great time today. You're gonna to see them catch some monsters out here. Try one of these five tips and you too could catch big trout just like these. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, Make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. Yep, there you go. All right. There you go. I hope you're not trying to film this. Oh, man. <laughs> Have you ever seen anybody use their hands instead of a net? <laughs>